Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a pretty crazy weekend of content inside of FIFA 23 with its Trophy Titans promo bringing us the 90 plus Team of the Year Foot Birthday or Prime Icon Pack. We had the Ozil SBC yesterday, but have we seen all of the good content so far and will the rest of this week kind of quiet down and maybe not as exciting of a week? in terms of content. We'll take a look and talk about that today because if that's going to be the case, I think there are some cards right now on this game that we might have a potential to invest in for some price rises in the next couple of days. I also want to look at what should happen today on a Monday of content, even with the market maybe rising as early as this morning. So if you're excited for the video today, if it helps you out at all, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's take a quick look back to yesterday because yesterday on FIFA, we did get a WSBC and a couple unexpected ones. Starting off with the Ozil end of an era. This is one that so many people were looking forward to. And EA pretty much delivered with this card. Five star skills, four star weak foot, a high low work rate change is very nice. The stats in this card are really good considering the price that it is and the fact that he kept the five star skills because the links are not that amazing but 99 vision 99 ball control insane traits, finesse shot, flares flare passes, swerve pass. He has like all of the passing traits which is very very deserved. A nice card for Mesut Ozil. Only about 140,000 coins to do. It's not very difficult with an 84 and an 86 rated squad. That is very easy to craft over the next couple of days. I mean, the only part about this that you maybe say is an L is that his Winter Wildcards SBC had 5-star, five 5-star, five so we had the 5-star weak foot in there as well. But for German links, for some Arsenal fans, that is an Ozil card that I'm sure a lot of people are going to be doing, and it is a nice upgrade and a nice price for me. There's not too much else to say there. If that one, you know, is something you want to do, go ahead and do it. Now, yesterday we had upgrade packs as well, which is weird because usually we get sorts of upgrade packs on Monday, like today. That also is making me wonder what in the world's EA gonna drop today. But yesterday we had the silverware smelting upgrade and the trophy crafting upgrade, right? Kind of going with this trophy titans theme. Uh, guys, this double 80 plus upgrade, this I think is our upgrade pack for the week. I don't expect, if anything, it would be a small upgrade pack today on Monday. Uh, I think this is our like repeatable upgrade pack that we are gonna be getting this week. So you need 10 commons and one rare. It's not a terrible price. It's not as good as the 80 plus times three, but it is a bit cheaper. It's about 5,000 coins per pack. So that is a GG from EA. And unfortunately, this pack is not unlimited repeatable because it would be really nice if it was, but you can turn in a squad of non-rare golds, or sorry, non-rare bronzes and silvers to get a pack that gives you exactly what you need to do the trophy crafting upgrade. Also, the first SBC ever with the word crafting in it, maybe? That's kind of interesting. But I just wish they would not have made this available only seven times, unless that's going to repeat daily, which I'm sure that it might. These are out for 27 days. Uh, now, one big part of this as well that uh, could lend that those upgrade packs to not being the only upgrades that we get this week is these are attached to a milestone objective, the trophy crafting upgrade completionist, which is very, very nice. This one, to me, I think is more completable than that 80 plus one they put out during Centurions, but you get a couple packs uh, along the way here for, and a couple icons as well, Shemsheko base, Balak base, Barnes, you get some icons and packs along the way for completing this. So that's out for like 27 days, which is a W in my opinion. Uh, but the fact that we had those upgrades released might mean whatever upgrade packs we get today, may not be as good. So we'll take a look at that, of course, when we talk about today's content. But I want to talk about the market first because prices are already starting to rise on some special cards because with content being a little bit quieter yesterday and of course already getting upgrade packs and that 90 plus the really the big SBC that is now uh, come and gone is that 90 plus icon pack. That was the big SBC that was causing a lot of panic and striking a lot of fear into uh, kind of like the market on this game over the past couple of days. But now that that has all arrived, it's like, okay, what's next? And that's really the question that I'm asking. And that's what I'm feeling right now. What is next for the market on this game? Because it's full birthday is over guys, right? Full birthday was a really good promo in terms of all the content that we are getting. It was super grindable with objectives and SBCs and all of that. But I really think what EA are kind of doing right now is they're going to kind of slow the content down a bit before team of the season. And we see them often do this before really, really big promos. And when the content slows down and there's still a lot of demand for people to play this game, I think the market could do really, really well this week. And that's why I was just looking at some live cards because 
some of these cards have already started to go up in price as I think the market is getting ready for some of these live cards to get upgraded and live cards are always some of the first investments. That's why we talked about them in the last couple of videos because I knew that when the market was going to start to turn back up a little bit, if the content kind of allowed that, uh, then that was going to be the case, right? Barella yesterday on Sunday was around 250k at its lowest and now you can see rising up to about 270,000 coins because these guys have games uh, tomorrow and on Wednesday, right? We've got road to the final cards back in action uh so for the cards that are playing um they are playing for a plus one upgrade for qualifying to the next round so no upgrades for these will take place this week they will all take place after uh next week's uh second leg games for all of these cards but if any of them that are playing like maybe uh i don't know fofana still is one that kind of interests me i was really trying to get him at like 350 or something like that yeah yesterday he was like 354 that would have been a really good price to pick him up um you know the barella is up already raspadori at like 195 i think is okay um but i, I just don't know how much rise potential we have here um, just because he's a very, very invested in card. Now, these Road to the Finals and some of these fantasy cards are already going up, so it's a bit tougher to invest in these. Park Ji Sung, 560, right? I think some of your fantasy upgrades, I don't know if they're going to happen today or tomorrow, but get ready for some upgrades today on FIFA as well. I think we're going to get the 5-star, five 5-star, five plus 2 upgrade on Thomas Moynier today because the uh, showdown upgrades on Mondays and Tuesdays is very common from the weekend games. Hopefully, it's today on Monday, but watch out for this card being really, really hyped today as so many people would like to try him out after he gets a 5-star, five 5-star five boost and his plus 2 upgrade for Dortmund beating Union Berlin on the weekend. Now, why are we talking about Road to the Finals and live cards? Because they're already going up. Now, what part of the market could we actually invest in right now i'm looking at the impacts cards of the trophy titans and here's why you might be like nate why would i want to invest in these cards right now if they are still in packs what would be the reason to invest in these cards well first of all these cards are incredibly cheap but we know why right we know why these guys are super cheap it's because the pack weight on these cards is higher than we really ever expected it to be on icons and we know that pack weight is really impacted by these uh the junior icons right or what people kind of jokingly call the little bro icons right this is the little bro long because it's 92 the bigger one the big bro is 93 rated right it's kind of fun to have different versions of these cards for some of them um but for some of these guys I really feel like like these are icons, man, and these have dynamic images with them holding trophies, and their prices are already down so much to where their other icon versions were. And if you think about it, we get a lot of the pack supply every single week on this game on the weekends because Foot Champions is the most popular game mode. It gives out the best packs, and EA gifted everybody qualification again this last weekend. So, so many people got rewards during the weekend, and even this morning on Wednesday, I think that is going to bring some more demand, especially after as the masses get the rewards today, right? Mondays are always big rewards day because not everybody knows they can finish their games. They just stop at their rank. And that's why you see the market rise pretty nicely on Mondays is because people get rewards, they get coins, open packs, and you see prices go up because people want to go and try some new cards. And I think that with the supply really ending throughout this weekend, um, I don't see a lot of new like packs being added to the store apart from some untradeable ones during the rest of this week. And without really any leaks that we have right now, uh, like there's literally zero leaks for like upcoming content that is like, I guess, worrisome for me, if you know what I'm saying. Like, there's no big icon pack that's looming that could come soon. Oh, Fernando Torres with the just had a W rebound here. I just bought one at 1.31. He is up to 1.4, so we love that. These cards are moving. If you take a look at some of their prices, um, like, let's take a look at uh, Birdcamp. I was just looking at him yesterday. Birdcamp uh, started the day on Sunday at about 490,000 coins, kind of where he is right now. He had a spike up to 550. He went all the way back down to 500 and then went back to 525. But these guys are fluctuating a lot in price. Who's another one? Uh, Roberto Carlos had a spike yesterday. I bought a Roberto Carlos late on uh, Saturday night right here, about 700K. He spiked to 760, which is not much profit, but it is a decent bit, right? But you see these cards are starting to fluctuate a bit because they're icons and they're rare. And I think if the content is going to be a 
bit drier this week and there's not going to be as many insane things these cards will be the most exciting thing that people want to go on to the game and to try out of course grinding some objectives but there's not as many objectives as foot birthday and there's not as many SBCs apart from the ones that are still existing from the foot birthday promo as well so that has me i mean it does seem a bit risky guys because when how many often times do we invest in a promo team on like a monday morning or you know this early in the week not very often but with the way the content looks this week if ea do kind of slow down with the content a little bit i think this is going to be our best opportunity for a lot of these cards especially if it's one that you want to get into your team and try out for a couple of days i don't expect the market to do absolutely incredible things um over the next couple of days and like i'm not expecting like philip lom to go to like 700 000 coins or anything crazy like that but i think we could see some nice you know 10 percent rises on some of these cards just because the content might be a bit lackluster throughout the rest of this week and let's be honest guys icons are just icons anytime icon packs are dropped icon sbcs are dropped everybody is interested in icons because they are you know they don't play real life anymore it's not like they can go get a, a team of the week next week and get a new card uh, and yes we expect different types of icons to be released still throughout the rest of this game but like icons just hit different in fifa they always have they always will and uh that's why i'm super interested into looking at some of these cards i've already invested some of my coins into a few of these that i think have good rise potential in the next couple of days so the risk here is ea drops really good content and we see those cards drop because either pack supply or panic selling kind of happens, right? What's the good content that could make these cards not go up? Well, the first thing is you think about Mondays, we've gotten like those year in review player picks or campaign bag player picks recently. Well, currently we have a year in review player pick that is still here until tomorrow on Tuesday. It doesn't go away till tomorrow. So I don't think they would drop another one of these today unless they really wanted to a different type of player pick pack. But even then, those are really cheap SBCs and probably wouldn't affect most of these icons since they're on the mid to higher tier markets. So I really feel like today is not a bad time to get in on some of these cards. Now, again, I would tell you, do not hold them for very long as I've been trading with a lot of Loms. I love this guy. He went up again Sunday morning from Saturday night, Sunday morning. It was great. Uh, I got all these at like 100 to 105,000 coins, selling them all into the 120s and 130s. It was big W profits in this guy. I know a lot of people are investing in this Lom. Um, and again, let me point this out. If Lom... Lom today could be impacted. I think he's the most popular card that is in this release, but I do believe this Lom card might be impacted a bit because of the upgrade to Thomas Moynier. So um, I know that Lom can play left back as well, and Moynier uh, cannot play left back, but with Moynier getting a 5 5 today, that made. I'm not buying any Loms today, and I might regret this decision because this guy has been so good to trade with. But with Moynier potentially getting his upgrade earlier this morning, I don't want to risk it with this card. I'd rather risk it with some of the the other ones that I see being very hyped. But as we go throughout the rest of this week, content just looks to be kind of mid. So uh, don't hold on to these cards forever, like I was starting to say, because team of the season is not that far. Um, and we could get more SBCs, of course, EA trying to drain co coins from our uh, clubs and stuff like that. If EA were to release any information about team of the season, whether it's voting, pre-team of the season, warm up to tots, that sort of stuff, you, we know that that's going to start to create some panic. But until we see that sort of thing, um, I really think that these cards are going to do pretty decent unless EA have some pretty crazy content in mind, which I just, I don't know, guys. I really don't. So I don't want to waffle on any longer, but if there's any cards that you see that look like good investments there, I think those are decently safe. Even though the pack weight for these Trophy Titans is a lot higher than we would have ever expected, it's got these prices a lot lower than we would have ever expected, and I think creates a decent investing opportunity there. Now, speaking of content today on Monday, right? We already had some upgrade packs, but since these upgrade packs are tied to objectives, uh, are they really going to be the only upgrades that we get this week? You know, I've gone back and forth on this. I know at the beginning of the video that I, I said and I kind of thought that these might be the only ones. I could see them being the only upgrade packs that we get. I don't remember during Centurions if we had anything else dropped besides that 80 plus during the first week or if we didn't. Uh, but, you know, I could maybe see a player pick that's being dropped today. Maybe some sort of SBC they drop alongside of this. Uh, but again, without any leaks... There's nothing really to expect uh, besides that those selector packs, right? And those are technically player picks, but those are player picks that you can save, right? There was an 84 plus and a 75 plus uh, selectors pack, which we'll check out here in a second after I pack something sick or not. What's my? This is my first 80 plus double. Am I really going to get nothing? 
Oh, two dupes. Love that. Absolutely love that. But these are, I believe, the only packs that are added to the code right now that we really haven't seen. Uh, but an 84 plus player pick and a 75 plus player pick that you can save as a pack. Uh, you know, maybe that is coming today, but that's just kind of the only other potential SBCs that we have kind of like, you know, a tangible leak or a code that's been added to look at and think about. So it might be a really quiet Monday today. There's no other player SBC leaks. There, of course, could be surprises. Um, by all means, EA could drop something in the game today that just kind of surprises us. But uh, it might be a quiet start to the week with all of these things uh, considered here. Now, I do want to talk about fodder. We have not talked about fodder yet. And this is a big part of the market that has had some fluctuations, but it's down again. And I think if you guys want to buy some 86s, this 90 plus pack, it does refresh at the end of the week. And I think that again, if the supply is going to be kind of ending today, all of these 86s on Saturday, remember they went from 13K to about 17,000 coins. And uh, now we're looking at 86s back down 14,000 coins, maybe even 13K on a bid. A really good potential here. I think if you want to stock some in the club, if you're going to do any more SBCs throughout the week, 86s to 88s, especially the 86s and 87s are back down a little bit again. I think they could rise throughout the duration of this week. 84s, 85s, and, and 83s for that matter as well. It all just depends on what other SBCs we get to see if these cards are going to rise up. I still love that low tier part of the market for an investment soon, just not quite yet. It, they, there's nothing that has been dropped. There's no team of the season warm up yet to make those cards go up for packs that we're trying to save. But when that switch flips, we will be all in on the low tier. But for right now, it's just not here yet. And I'd also wanna talk about investing in a team of the week as well, because team of the weeks usually start to rise out of the weekend a bit. I'm actually kind of a big fan of a few cards of this team of the week. First of all, Benzema Lewandowski has 92 rated cards. If you take a look, 92s have dropped a significant amount, right? A lot of these guys, Casemiro, 99K, Rush, 96,000 coins. A lot of these guys are cheap as 92s uh, because Lewandowski and Benzema are dragging the fodder prices down there. And also 93 close at 96,000 coins. A nice card with a nice upgrade inside of the Profi Titans team. Uh, but he is the cheapest 93 in the game at 97K. So that's not a bad look even for fodder or just as an investment because it's the most usable closer we've ever seen. De Bruyne is going to be really rare from this team of the week. Rafael Leal, tons of 88 rated in his team of the week. It's crazy. Uh, but some of them are really usable too. Wijnaldum, Sané, uh, Medina, and Leal are all pretty usable. I think if you want to get in on some team of the week cards, might be a decent time to do that early this morning um, before some of them could probably go up a bit more during the rest of this week. So I'm pretty bullish on the market to use the, the economic terms there. I'm really bullish on the market. Now you could also be like, Nate, I don't want to mess with stuff that is in packs. And you could look to out of packs cards. You could look at some fantasy foots. Um, maybe there's somebody that's getting an upgrade this week um, that has not been upgraded yet. Like Fabian for PSG is rising because he's finally getting an upgrade. He was like 170s, 180s, and now he's uh, basically 200,000 coins. So a really nice rise there. I saw Ruben Diaz was really, really cheap uh, for a moment yesterday. How much is he? He was like 720K, 760 now. So there's still a lot of fluctuations on the out of packs market if you want to trade there with maybe some foot birthday cards, right? If there's any foot birthdays that are low. Um, Bruno Guimaraes I saw was really low. Some cards are going up a lot, but guys like maybe Genduzzi could be a look from the mini release being extra rare. Emerson's under 100K. He's like 99,000 coins. Darwin Nunez, no shot. 560K. Wow. For the five-star skills version, 565,000 coins. For this card, what was he yesterday? He was between 550 and 600. Well, I guess he just dropped off a lot when that icon pack came out on the weekend. But kind of use your best judgment on it, trading and stuff like that with out of packs cards at this time um, as well. Because I think there's a lot of opportunity out there for a couple quick market bounce backs this week. Not something you want to hold to hold on to for very long, but something you might be able to quick flip and trade with um, throughout this week. So I'm not going to sit here and talk forever because it feels like content's really slowing down, but I mean, I would be fine if EA surprises with something. They maybe some sort of upgrade pack, maybe some sort of cool objective. We still have the draft objectives that are going on at the moment. So there's some gameplay to grind there. But for me this week, I'm going to be pretty market focused and market heavy, trying to grind the trades and grind the flips as well as hitting the upgrade packs, trying to pack some of these trophy Titans cards. And we're just kind of waiting for like team two, right? We know we have some, some team two leaks already, but we'll probably get more information about team two later on. And we'll see if EA have anything up their sleeves 
for some content this week that would be crazy and different. But for now, I feel pretty bullish on the market. I have invested in some cards. We're probably going to invest in some more and uh, see if we can pay off some dividends, get some dividends off those investments here in the next coming day. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the Catch you guys today in the stream. Peace out.